Hi, welcome to part three in building a website in Visual Studio Code, uh, building a blog in Visual Studio Code in 2019. Um, this is we're going to continue with the CSS in this part. So this is our site. Uh, it's it's offline, but this is what our site looks like currently, um, and we want to continue with the CSS. All right, so we're in the CSS now, and one thing I thought about doing is getting rid of. Um, all the underline for the all the links. So I'm going to say that the text decoration is none, and I'm going to refresh, and you'll see that that goes away. Also, I want to make the color a little different. So uh, let's do gray. I'll hit Control and save, and it turns them to a nice gray, and that kind of modifies the color a little bit. Also, I was thinking about the logo. It's cool, but I don't like that blue border. So um, let's make that also gray. Okay, and um, let's change our border radius to 50%. Hit Control and Save, Fresh. Okay, and that looks kind of cool. Uh, it's nice and centered. Um, and we've got our our um, nice little blog going there. Uh, one thing I thought about doing is um, to change the font a little bit. So I'm going to go to Google Fonts again, and I think I want to do Baskerville. So I'm going to search. And we come up with this uh, Libre Baskerville. So I'm going to add that. Okay. And then I'm going to go here, and we copy this font family, okay, and we're going to put that in everywhere here, okay, and change it. And you see it's highlighting it everywhere it is. I'm just changing them individually, okay. Um, that's it for now, okay. Hit control save there. Now it's not going to change. Uh, we need to link in the style sheet for it. Okay, so we're going to do that. Now it looks like we didn't do it from the previous one, which is interesting. Okay, hit control save. Um, and all right, and see that now we change it about. That's looking a lot cooler for my blog. Okay, so one more thing we might want to do is mobile optimize it. Because if I crunch the screen down, I'm going to get rid of the Google fonts and get rid of that. So I don't know if I can compact this screen any bit more. No. Nope. Um, so I got the screen down there. The menu still shows up fine for three things. I think we'll keep it like that. But these other things um, are not working out. Basically, the main and the, um, and the footer looks fine, the main and the sidebar. So we got to change those things. So let's go to our style. We'll go down here and we'll comment uh, mobile CSS. And we'll say at media screen and max with uh, 600 pixels. Um, we want to have, let's see, we want to have the main part uh, have a width of 100%. Okay, and then we also want to have a sidebar also have a width of 100%. I'm going to hit Control Save and see what that does for me. So I'll bring it down here. And then look at that. Okay, so that's looking cool. It, it lines it up, but um, we probably need some padding on our body okay so if we bring this out we see that the edges of the paragraphs don't have much padding so let's take a look here let's take a look at our paragraph we have no real padding in there so maybe i'll make the padding uh 15 pixels hit Control save okay come back here and okay so now it's starting to look a little bit better uh but we can also see that the headers don't have any padding, so let's do that twice. Padding, let's do uh, 15 pixels as well. 
Control save. Okay, so now it, it, it spaces it out a little bit. Um, but maybe I don't want the padding as much on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to say five uh, pixels. Um, then I go right, 15 pixels, uh, down, five pixels, and left, 15 pixels. And hit that, and let's see what that does. Okay, and it, it lines it up a little bit better. Okay, so that's nice. Um, and we've got this nice menu here. Um, I like the the red color that you highlight over here. And we have a logo. Um, okay, so other thing, the uh, links. They don't have any padding, so let's fix that up. And so we'll do padding, and we'll do the same. We'll do five pixels on top, 15 pixels right, five pixels on the bottom, and 15 pixels left. And hit Control Save, and let's see what that does. Okay, and so that brings out your um, your padding nicely. Um, one thing, let's see, let's bring this up to the big screen. So we've got January and then December. Okay, so when we're doing here the archives, I think I want to line out the sidebar a little bit. So in the sidebar, uh, I'm going to align the heading into the center. Okay. Um, and line these all in the center. Uh, control save. Uh, Okay, and then here, um, what I'm going to want to do is an unordered list, hit tab, and um, enter, and then to list, oh, I don't want to do that, okay, to list items, so I align tab, and then I'm going to bring this up here, control C, actually I want to, I want to control X and then control V to paste it in and to cut it. And do control X again and control V. Okay, and now I've got that. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. All right, so I'll hit return and better. Um, I don't want these dots though. Uh, so I'm going to go here. Type in ULLI and I'm going to say list uh, style and none. Control save. And that takes that away. Um, we also want probably similar padding, so uh, let's do five pixels on top, 15 pixels right, five pixels bottom, and 15 pixels left. Okay, um, do that. And that spaces them a little bit better. Um, okay, and maybe, yeah, maybe we want to do that. Maybe we want, um, under the archives, we want to, uh, have it be underlined. So I'm going to type U tab and then take this here and hit control X and then paste it here and control V and hit that. And so that gives me a nice little underline there. Um, which isn't super visible. Um, and then we've got these. All right, so one thing I might wanna change when I'm hovering over these is the color. So I'm gonna say, what do I say on hover? Uh, we're gonna say that the color is going to change to, what color is it? It's a gray now, it's gonna change to a darker color. Uh, and you can play with this. I don't know that I'll particularly like that, but so it does change to a darker color. Now, when I hover over that, this turns to a red color when I hover over that. And maybe in keeping consistent, maybe I say, you know what? I actually just want red. Okay, and I hit control, save, and then, so now, now it's red. It kind of goes with the menu a little bit. Um, and we've also got, uh, do all the links. Just be consistent. Uh, we'll do color is red. Save, and then then we see it happening with all of them. 
And we got a little spacing in the footer, which uh, maybe just website designed by. Uh, now we've got spacing. So in the footer, um, so we're going to the footer. We'll do a footer link. Uh, and the reason that spacing is looking weird is because we have padding set in. I'm going to say padding is zero pixels. And we'll hit that. And now it comes more normal. Okay. And right after that, we probably should have a period too. Just keep a punctuation correct. Period. Control save. And then boom. And then. Okay. So now we have that link. Um, it opens up in a different a different window. That's good. Uh, and we are looking decent, decent enough. Mobile optimized. Um, we might want to wrap this in a paragraph and move it to the center. But the thing I want to think about, that's not what I want to do. Let's go to the style and let's do menu and display, uh, display, we'll do flex, justify content. Do that in the center. Uh, line items. Do that in the center, uh, and then the flex direction will be a column. Okay, and we'll control save there. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I want to go here. See how that turns out. Okay, so that's um, interesting. Probably don't want this padding in here. Uh, maybe just top and bottom. We'll see. Okay, that still looks a little odd. Um, actually, maybe I'll do padding. We'll do five pixels, top, zero, five pixels, zero. Control save, get a little space. Uh, that didn't really do much for me. Did it maybe a little bit, maybe 10. And, okay, so. It's kind of spacing them out. Let me just clear something here. Um, clear out the cache. That's my other website. Okay. So I maybe have to play with this. I might be doing it. Uh, maybe I did, did I do it wrong. Let's see. Let's see. Zero, 10 picks, zero, 10 picks. That should be. No, that's not. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's when we hover. Uh, okay, uh, that's not what I want. Okay, so delete that. Um, just in the regular here. Let's do um, five picks, zero, five picks, zero, and hit control save. And then we got some space in there. Okay, yeah, I was thinking I was doing it off. Um, Maybe, I don't know that I like the justifying content. Um, let's take this out. Take all this out. I don't have anything in there right now. Okay, that I like a little bit better. The alignment, I think that's all right. And let's see, how does that look? Yeah. On the mobile, doesn't look 100%. Um, Sure, it'll let me do this, but let's try something. Put these uh, yeah. um, so okay, so I don't really want that there. Um, what I do want is I'm going to take this out here, and then I'm going to go down to this, uh, the mobile. I'm going to hit type UL and then say that my display, I want it to be flex, uh, just and to justify content to the center and align items to the center. Hit Control Save. Okay. 
And then when I get it small, um, uh, that's all right, but then I want flex direction uh, be a column. There we go. That's a little bit better. I'm going to play with that. I might have to play with that a bit to get it looking the way I want it to look. But right now you've got a simple blog. Um, the archives could use some work. Um, and, you know, I'll have to go from there. But um, basically, you know, so we've got it mobile optimized in the third video. We can uh, maybe the next video we can build a contact page with some PHP. And then go from there. And let's just make sure that on our index, yep, we have contact.php. Uh, so that'll work. All right. So thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for when we build our contact page coming soon. Thanks. Bye.